All right, we back. Some breaking news. The Detroit Lions trade a, a conditional six-round draft pick to bring in Everson Griffin from the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, the Cowboys is looking to uh, give him his contract up. Um, you know, they got him as a free agent coming from Minnesota. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And I'm actually kind of uh, shocked. The Lions usually don't really take chances on guys like this when you can get a guy for a little bit of nothing. And they pull the trigger on Everson Griffin and... Um, you know, that's funny how he's going to fit in, too, because it's going to be, do they still look at Romeo Cora as a backup type of guy? Or are they going to look to really move Trey Flowers on the inside to penetrate and play Griffin and Romeo Cora's bookends? But it don't matter. You can rotate them, but let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist for more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And really, you know, the pressure either, you know, either you die with the pressure or, you know, you change your ways and you start to really, you know, make moves. And it's showing that I think Patricia's delegating to Corey Udelin that, okay, I need some help on defense. And you seeing that some of the things that Udelin picked up from Swartz and throughout his career with the Eagles, the defense is starting to change. Now you see Bob Quinn saying, okay, I know I need help on the D-line. Let me go get help. So now you're seeing that Martha's really putting the, the pedal to the metal. Now they're trying to go out there and say their jobs. Now, a lot of people not going to like it before I get into Everson Griffin because they think Patricia and Quinn is incompetent and they want somebody else to come in. My whole thing is this. From when, she, when, when Sheila, excuse me, I said Martha, when Sheila said that this was an irregular season, she was going to get on the benefit of the doubt. Who are they going to get better than Patricia and Quinn? And do you trust Sheila to really get the job done? It's a million dollar question. But personally, you know, I always thought they was going to finish out the season. Now we're in a situation where fans like, oh, we won't get a quarterback. We didn't take Tua. We didn't take Herbert. Tua's about to start this week versus Aaron Donald. Herbert been balling. Now we're in a situation where what if Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn, not it. We go into the next draft thinking, you know, we, we ready and they fail next year. Or we go into the draft and we fall 79, 6-10, and, and we need a quarterback. But instead of being in the top two or three, we in the top seven, eight, and we don't get a quarterback. You know, that's also a huge question. You know what I'm saying? With them passing on Tua so, or Her and Herbert last year, kind of make it hard. But really, the Lions are going to be buyers. They're going to push. And really, some of the optimism, most of the optimism is coming because they beat the Jaguars and the Falcons. Now, was the Falcons a step up from the Jaguars? Absolutely. They shut down really in, in, in Julio, which they gave the Minnesota Vikings all they wanted is some. Minnesota, not the greatest team. They selling as well. Harrison Smith and a few other guys. The real test going to come Sunday versus the Colts. I mean, if Darius Leonard doesn't play, if they beat the 4-2 Colts and then you go into Minnesota, you can beat them. You know, then, you know, game the, uh, Washington, you could beat them. I mean, really, it's a simple uh, fact that the Lions could make a play uh, race at the foot at the playoffs and with how the way they playing, if they continue to play this way with no injuries, you know, you go in, you beat Houston, you can beat, you know, Chicago at least one time. I mean, the second time, I mean, you know, actually it seems like everything is lining up for the Lions to – be a wild card team or perhaps even being that second wild card team because right now it's a situation where they added an extra wild card to the thing. So only the number one seed gets buys in the AFC and the NFC. But what Everson Griffin is going to bring is he's going to bring an extra pass rusher. He's going to bring a guy that can bring electricity off the edge, something that O'Core and, and, and Flowers don't. You know, he may not be as athletic as he once was, but, you know, He's a good pass rusher. You know, should the Lions have also looked at uh, Ngakwe? Could have said that as well, too, but he was on a one-year deal. It's a no harm. You didn't trade nothing for him. You traded a six. So, you know, is he an older player? Yes. Can he bring us something to the table? Yeah. Um, but we'll see what else they're going to do. They're talking about trading Marvin Jones. And, you know, it's going to be really, really interesting the next couple games they got coming up because, um, you know, if they lose to the Colts and if they lose to the football team and the Vikings, it's going to be real interesting. But, Welcome, Everson Griffin, to Detroit. In the meantime, um, I like the move. It was a low-risk, high-reward type of move. But, I mean, we'll see. It's kind of scaring me that the Lions and, well, excuse me, Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia, since, you know, Martha came to practice and, you know, basically threatened Patricia it was going to be his job, that they trying to act like a football team. They're trying to operate like a football team. They're taking uh, some chances that's not going to hurt the football team. So, I think Everson Griffin can't do nothing but, uh, but help the team. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All my social media links in the description. If you want to advertise your business, you in Detroit or trying to reach a broader uh, 
audience. Let me know. Twitter's the fastest way. Appreciate the love, support. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? Best way to share the video. Also hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, cash app at CJ Good313, PayPal link in the description. And outside of all of that, check my other channel, Wild Goodfellas Sports TV for more sports, music, music, entertainment. One time for the one time we go.